Supernatural Season 13, Episode 13, Devil's Bargain. This is definitely an awesome episode. We got to see Lucifer kind of doing his thing. We're introduced to a new angel whose name I, I totally cannot remember. is like Aniel. That, that's close. Something like that. Uh, who was played by Daniil uh, Ackles. So I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't know that she was going to have um, an actual recurring role. I thought it was going to be like, oh, it's like this you know, special sort of one-off thing. But she's going to be in here uh, for you know, at least a couple episodes. I'm assuming she's going to get killed. Um but I was like, okay, that, that's not what I was expecting, but I thought that was cool. I like the character she plays, who is, like, this super smart angel, where she basically kind of got freed from, like, this great angel disaster. I was like, I used to sit at the desk and push a button when Souls came in. And even Cass was like, the way he said it, I mean, he's Cass, so everything he says is plain. But it was just like, she was nothing. She was a low-level, I think he's, like, a missionary or something, somewhere that I've never actually heard. And I was like, man, it was just she was nothing. They treated her like crap. So... She was like, well, I kind of got freed and I was doing my thing. I saved this woman's husband. I got her vessel and then I'm making a bunch of money healing people and it's just cool. No big deal. And she makes a deal, you know, she makes a deal with the devil. So I was like, well, instead of killing me, why don't you kind of just drain my grace little by little and we can work together. You know, I help you, you help me, that sort of thing. So I like your character for sure. Um, I'm curious how it's going to play out. I don't know if it'll get to the point where Lucifer is Lucifer and he's like, ah, and you know, snaps his finger and she's gone. But for now, you know, they're working together as a team. They take over heaven, which I thought was really cool. I wasn't expecting the scene of uh, Lucifer saying, you know, hell to the king. I didn't expect that to be him in heaven. So that really surprised me. I thought it was cool. The weird, he had like, that was a crazy pointy chair, but super awesome. It was like super cool. So he's like, I can make angels and stuff. So there's like just a lot of stuff that they can do. And I'm curious how much of it is really going to happen. And then asmodeus reveals that he has there's an archangel blade which i thought was super sweet in itself and then we find out that he has an archangel um i think it was gabriel if i remember right so whole lot, a lot of stuff in this episode i was like this is fantastic i really love this episode um lucifer's all you know it, it's mark pellegrino so it's always fun to have lucifer in there it's him kind of growing going through the paces of being human and he's like um when he sees people eating he like feels his stomach he's like hungry yeah and it was just really funny so Watch him go through that and, you know, talk with the guy who's trying to get money for his leg. So all that stuff was super fun. Of course, Sam and Dean find out exactly what's been happening with Cass. Um, you know, just like the the whole issue that they've been dealing with there. So it was definitely a fun episode. I, of course, wish we got to see the other uh, universe because they showed it in the recap. So I was like, oh, we're definitely getting, you know, they officially call it Earth 2, which I love just because of all the comic stuff on CW. But, you know, I thought they were you know, officially going to show us that, but we still have to wait. I was about to say next week, but it's not until March 1st. So we have to wait until March 1st before all that stuff uh, ends up playing out. But that's what's going to be coming up in the next episode. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. But this one I thought was really fun. Like I said, Lucifer was awesome to watch. Um, Sam, Dean, and Cass are back together. So that's always really cool. We get to see Asmodeus do some stuff. At least, you know, by the end, we find out that, you know, the great mission was for the Archangel Blade. Catch comes back, who I swear to God, I forgot he was even alive in the show until they showed him. And I was like, I totally forgot that he was in this, which explains why they didn't have um, the scene with Rowena where it was like, uh, she's not actually dead. I forgot that that was from him. So it made sense not to show him because it would have been like, oh, he's going to be in the episode. But that wasn't the case for that one. So now I understand why they didn't show that because he w it would have been like, oh, Ketch is in this. Um, so yeah, Ketch is back. I, I legitimately forgot. As soon as he showed up, I was like, I forgot about that. I forgot he was alive. I forgot that was a thing. So Ketch is back. He decides to be a double agent. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But it's like, you know, I'm working with Osmodeus. I'll use him to give you guys extra information and we will, you know, destroy Lucifer, destroy Asmodeus. Um, eventually, I know they're going to have to come up against whatever the crazy creatures were from the first episode. I, I still can't remember the name, but they're going to be going up against those somewhere in this season unless they decide to legitimately save those for next season, which they could because, I mean, they got alternate universes going on. It seems like when they go back, they don't even end up going back to the crazy you know, apocalyptic hell earth, they go to like some weird caveman earth. That's what it seemed like at least. So curious how that's going to play out. They, you know, hopping through dimensions to get to uh, Mary and Jack, and then they eventually all get back home. But definitely looking forward to that. Like I said, there's, I feel like there's not a ton to say just because it was just like a lot of really cool stuff happened. It was, it was a fairly simple episode. Um, it's just, you know, really big moments, you know, Lucifer going through his kind of going through the motions. He's getting his grace back a little bit. He ends up having like a new ally. So she helps him out and he, uh, has this moment where, you know, he's got everybody down. He's like, I just want to enjoy this. And then, you know, Catch makes his way back. So they end up escaping. They go to the angels and him saying, I'm going to, you know, I can make other angels. I'm older than all you guys. So I know exactly how it's done. 
And it was just like, all right, I'm insanely excited to see where we're going uh, come March 1st. But this is definitely a fun episode. Ton of Lucifer, ton of Sam, Dean, and Cass. Not so much Jack and Mary, but, you know, save them for the next episode. Great reveal at the end with both the Archangel Blade as well as a living Archangel. So I don't know exactly what we should expect there, but certainly looking forward to it. I think this was a really good episode kind of going into, well, I guess we're already technically we're in the second half, but going into the rest of the season, I'm definitely excited. Like, I thought this was really cool. This would have been a really good uh, mid-season finale as well. I, I Personally, I think it would have been with, you know, Lucifer getting control over heaven having a new ally as well finding out that there's an archangel blade plus a living archangel which i don't know how he's gonna ultimately use him and i i'm assuming the whole uh sewn up mouth thing was so that the angel can't you know he can't jump to another vessel um which i would assume was always just a visual thing but maybe they'll talk about that because i never really thought about it where it was like they have to like shoot out of their mouths i was like i never considered what would happen i like I've n all this time i've never considered what would happen if they just taped their mouth shut or, you know, they sewed it shut? So I don't think that's necessarily the case as to why his mouth is sewn shut, but that might actually be it where, it, like, they do legitimately have to go through the mouth. They've probably talked about that. I always say that it's 13 seasons. I don't remember everything. So they may have actually done that before, and I just forgot. And I was like, okay, he's all messed up. Um, but we got an Archangel. We have an Archangel Blade. They want to go for Lucifer, the, you know, try to do everything they can. Obviously, he's gotten enough power to where, you know, a regular Angel Blade isn't going to do the trick anymore. So, there's there's a lot to look forward to, I think. They did a lot of cool stuff with Lucifer controlling heaven and talking about bringing angels back and, make, you know, giving everybody wings again. So, I think there's a lot of cool stuff to look forward to. And I'm definitely excited to see, you know, just how everything's going to play out. I still, we still technically don't know if they're going to officially kind of bring uh, the other Michael over. I assume they will, but it's just like, they got so many options. They got Asmodeus as a main villain, Lucifer coming back as a main villain if he wants to, or, you know, if that's how they ended up writing it. So they've, you know, got a lot of options as to what they can really do. So I'm definitely looking forward to how all this plays out. But of course, we'd love to know what you guys thought about this episode. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, least favorite parts about it. And I want to know what you guys think about Lucifer uh, taking over heaven and possibly... Uh, making angels again and also having a partner pretty much everything that went on with lucifer i want to know what you guys thought about that storyline because i feel like this is one of the coolest steps they've actually taken with his character like he's always he's lucifer so he's the you know he's the peak he's ultimate power everyone fears him cowering all that stuff and this was him going from you know basically being human to kind of getting a little bit of strength gaining an ally in the process and then by the end he takes over heaven and it's like, hey, I'm going to recreate all the angels if you guys let me take over as the, you know, the ruler of heaven. So I'm definitely looking forward to where they're going with it. I, you know, of course, hope it plays out well. And it's definitely a great kind of introduction to all of the possibilities there. But we'll love to know how you guys feel about that. If you have any theories on it as well, we'd love to know what you guys think might happen, what you guys want to see happen, anything like that. Definitely want to know. And like I said, I definitely want to know what you guys thought about this episode in general. So please comment below. Let me know. And thanks for watching.